Engler. Aloha, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. For the past three days, Hawaii has seen thousands of travelers fly in after quarantine restrictions have relaxed. As we expect more visitors, we wanted to know how the counties make sure their different rules are shared. Sarah Madison has our top story. Guidelines are usually fitted according to each county's specific needs and resources. There are some differences that could get confusing. When it comes to face coverings, all four counties require you to wear one in public settings. But the number of people for indoor and outdoor gatherings vary. On Kauai, gatherings inside of up to 10 are allowed, and outdoor parties of up to 25 people. Those numbers are significantly lower on Oahu as indoor and outdoor social gatherings are capped at five. Maui and the Big Island have similar rules. Whether you're inside or outside, social gatherings of up to 10 are okay. Maui County Mayor Michael Victorino tells us there is an exception to the rule for businesses that provide outdoor and cultural events like luau's. These are the only other activities that are larger than 10, uh, but it's 10 per table. So they're going to be physical distancing. Mayor Victorino says the county has partnered up with the airport and hotels to help get their message across to travelers. The other parts that we're looking at is cue cards that we passed out when they go to the rental cars uh, and other means or other businesses that uh, visitors uh, uh, deal with and making sure that they have that available. Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim tells us some of the ways they try to get information to the public include the help of police officers who not just cite but also warn and educate people about the rules. Without doubt, we need to get better. You know, we've, uh, we have dedicated uh, a lot of resources to that. Education has to be on the uh, departure side, and we have very little resources for that. So we are appealing to the state and the travel industry to help us out there. For more information on the latest mask and gathering mandates from each county, please visit KHON2.com. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Sarah, thank you. The Hawaii Tourism Authority says 8,300 travelers flew into Hawaii yesterday. 5,100 of them are visitors, and just under 1,300 are residents returning home. The State Health Department says one more person with COVID-19 here in Hawaii has died. That raises the statewide total to 187. There were also 83 new cases, 68 of which came on Oahu, 14 on the Big Island, and one on Kauai. The new statewide total now tops 14,000. 2,768 of those remain active. The state is